Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another historical lesson. And this time we're taking on Yukio Tani, a professional jiu-jitsu fighter and wrestler and prize fighter similar to Maeda. And before I start this video, I just want to say uh, I'm not uh, deleting comments. Some people ask me, hey, did you delete my comment? I don't delete comments because, you know, if I'm willing to put something online, I'm willing to uh, face the criticism. If you go to my BJJ is a ripoff uh, video, you can see all kinds of, you know, uh, negative criticism, etc. So no, I'm not deleting comments. Sometimes I would get a notification of the comment. I can read it in my notification box, but when I go and click on it, YouTube tells me that it's no longer available. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there are even positive comments that when I go and click on them, they say that it's not available. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not deleting comments. If you think I deleted something, I did not. I apologize, but I don't know what's going on with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I just want to clear that up. So without further ado, Yukio Tani uh, was born in 1881 in Japan and he was a pioneering figure in Japanese Jiu Jitsu and also uh, Judo. So his uh, upbringing was based on a uh, Fozen Ryu style Jiu Jitsu. If you don't remember, Mataemon Tanabe is a uh, Fozen Ryu Jiu Jitsu master, which was a lot related to ground grappling and submission uh, grappling. Um, his father and grandfather actually knew uh, Tanabe, if you don't remember from my uh, Tanabe video, Tanabe basically was in the police academy in Tokyo with other Kodokan judokas and he was challenged by them and he had this tactic of taking the fight to the ground and either submit them with Juji Jime, the, the cross collar choke or the Ashigarami which is one of the nastiest leg locks and because of uh, Tanabe's uh, performance against the Kodokan Judokas, uh, the Kodokan realized that they need to incorporate Neiwaza into their training uh, and that's how uh, they had uh, Neiwaza into Judo. It was before that it was mainly Kata and Nagewaza which is throwing and Randori. So uh, in 1990 he was only 19 years old, he, Yukio and his brother Kaneo and Yamamoto traveled to London where they were met and invited by Edward William Barton Wright. If you don't know who that is, I'm sure you've seen the uh, early Edwardian era uh, gentleman art, which is like Englishmen wearing their coats and they have their cane with them and they do this self-defense technique. It's called Bartitsu. Uh, it's a mix of Jiu-Jitsu and Barton, the name Barton. So that's why you, the name Bartitsu is made so uh, Yuki Otani uh, if you want to say uh, influenced Bartitsu and made it better adding Jiu Jitsu uh, to it but in 1903 uh, after finishing uh, teaching at the Bartitsu schools with uh, Barton Wright um, he went to the music hall and where he went where he met William Bankier and there he started doing these wrestling challenges and prize fighting very similar to what Mitsuyo Maeda was doing uh, in the Americas in uh, USA, Cuba, Mexico and Brazil. Uh, so there he was uh, being challenged and he was actually um, making one pound per minute that he lasts and he had a great advantage because back in that time catch wrestling was still a uh, newborn but uh, the concept of submission wrestling or winning by the submission was almost unheard of in Europe. Uh, so that's why he had this great uh, advantage. So he would make sometimes 100 pounds uh, or 50 to 100 pounds per evening, which is in that time was a huge sums of money before the inflation, etc. So uh, he was he had the nickname Pocket Hercules and he was very famous because not only he was doing something uh, really uh, new and authentic but also being of eastern origins was uh, you know very rare to see you know now because of the internet we see people of 
all heritages and all cultures but back then seeing someone from eastern uh, origins was very rare and added to his mystique so he, he remained to perform at the music music hall in Oxford um, he was being challenged by boxers Greco-Roman wrestlers uh, etc jiu-jitsu fighters he only lost to Taro Miyake um, fun fact Taro Miyake is the uke in that video you are watching right now um, and Taro Miyake is also Mataya Montanabe's student so that's how strong and powerful Tanabe was uh, as a practitioner challenger and also a teacher so he had uh, a total of over uh, 500 challenges in that period only lost to Miyake so which really shows the the level of uh, Tanabe's teaching and pra practice and technique so he was also um challenged by Hackenschmidt a very famous Greco-Roman wrestler of that uh, era and he had one condition is that the match would go uh, by Greco-Roman wrestling rules but regardless Yukio Tani won that match so him uh, and Taro Miyake uh, authored the book The Game of Jiu Jitsu and published it in 1906. It's very, it's available online. You can find it uh, PDF form, etc. Uh, and then uh, in 1920, uh, Jigoro Kano himself visited the Budo Kuei in London and granted him his second dan. Uh, Tani eventually reached a fourth dan and he continued to teach at the Budo Kuei in London. Uh, he suffered a stroke, I believe, in 1937, but uh, he remained a part-time uh, teacher until his death in 1950. So he, uh, he had a very similar path to uh, Mitsuyo Maeda, but uh, the difference is he went to Europe. Um, he was greeted by very famous people similar to Maeda. He had hundreds of challenges, but I think Maeda had over a uh, thousand challenge so uh, it really shows how powerful uh, jiu-jitsu was back at that time um, he dominated mainly the top European fighters Maeda uh, dominated the top American fighters he met the Gracies now we have this big jiu-jitsu empire so it really shows uh, that what they gave to the world was, re was really authentic and really unique uh, he, they took everyone by surprise whether it's submissions uh, the rules the throwing the technique the leverage etc so I really love making these historical figures uh, videos because um, you can see all these figures interchanging Miyake and uh, Tanabe uh, you know Yukio Tani in my Maeda video you can see him interchanging with Kyuzo Mifune uh, the Gracies with Kimura so uh, it really helps to paint a clear picture of what happened in that time because there are so many things that were happening the Japanese diaspora uh, you had the creation of the Kodokan Judo the challenges uh, the creation also of uh, or the re rebirth of catch wrestling was also in the late 19th century so there were so many things happening and all these characters interchanged and had challenges against each other so it's really nice to study that history and really create a clear picture and also becoming more cultured and more educated in terms of these arts not just in technique but also the culture and what was going on back then um, if you have another suggestion or another figure um, let me know down below your suggestions always help uh, if you have another detail about Yukio Tani that I missed, also you can share it in the comments uh, down below. Uh, this was Shady and thank you for listening.